Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I am coming on today to do my second layout using kits from the scrap room. And this is the May 2022 double shot kit featuring Simple Stories Celebrate. So I've got some gorgeous, gorgeous bright cardstock. Look at this blue. It has a name of it on the back. It is called Commodore Blue. I have two of these. I've got some white card stock. Then I have Way to Go, Let's Celebrate, and Happy Everything for my pattern papers. And for embellishing, I've got this sticker sheet full of card stock stickers. And I've got this great little border strip, little wordy bits, title bits, banners, all of the cute stuff. So what's next? Oh, let me show you this photo. This is my son on his birthday this past summer. And look at that cake. It is so gorgeous. We have this place by us. It's actually like a big giant, like high end, I don't know, like fruit and vegetable store as it were, you know, like the fancy ones. And But their cakes are super affordable somehow and they're wonderful. Way too much information I know, but that's what that is. So that's great. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use this sketch. It's a sketch I came up with this month for the scrap room. So pretty much it's a half and half design on a diagonal, all kinds of decorative bits, photo right here. And maybe if there's tickets, have them stick outside. Otherwise you'll have stuff sticking out and a title on top. Easy peasy lemon squeezy on that one. So I was thinking though, that I think one of my diagonal pieces should be this. I mean, we have a really great line. I can go ahead and cut on the diagonal. The next thing I have to figure out is what the other paper will be. Ooh, I really like this yellow. My son's picture will be right across that. Yellow is really good. And then let's see. I don't want the blue with the blue. And no, no, no. Okay, so blue and yellow, it is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and going to just, you know, it's easier for me to cut this on the diagonal, so I'll pop that on the yellow. I will map my photo a couple times. And then, let's see, let me get one of my big blocks. This is one of those things I do a lot, so it has sticker stuff all over it, is I like to put um, embellishments on here. Ooh, I love this giant one that reads celebrate, but it might be too big. You know what? Maybe I should wait. Well, I like this let's party. I was thinking, should I wait until I see how big I mat my photo? But I do know there's a couple things that I just want to use. I love this. You are the best. That's super cute, but I, there's also these balloons that are fab. So I've got some really cute sticky up things. Maybe the cakes on the side of the photos where those tickets were, that would be cool. I like the little cakes. Always love a camera, I always do. Okay, so this is a really good start. Oh gosh, I love that camera. Let me pop the camera on because I like how it plays off of the title. And then, oh guys, look at the little candles. <gasps> okay. So three kind of cakey things. I don't think there's another cake on here. Okay, cute little cupcake. All right, so let me start with this and I will be back in a moment. I just want to get the base of this layout and map my photo and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and got my diagonal piece done and I matted my photo one, two, three times. And we have this really cute little border strip and of course, it's not long enough to go the whole way, but I also know I do have my photo will be in the middle somewhere. And yeah, so I thought that would work. Oh, the sketch has the diagonal running this way. I liked the weight of this layout being on this side because my son's kind of looking in that direction. Does not really matter. I just liked the way it was vibing. So that is how it shall be done. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this right on that seam and I'll trim off the extra bits. I'm gonna do the same thing right here and then I'll get decorating. But I thought I would show you what I was thinking. So when the photo's on there, voila, it looks like a full strip. It'll be cute, just a little bit of an extra touch. Now, 
I'm going to probably get my photo a little bit higher because I did want to have a bunch of like journaling strips, which are just going to be my wordy bits. Anything that describes the situation that we had here. Now, I do know I want some things on the sides. In the sketch, these were floral bits. We're going to just see how that flows. Oh, and I put a little bit of cheap craft foam on the back. The stuff I'm trying to use up, I am down to just a couple of these. I like the kind that has the adhesive on the side, on the back, which then again, it is still cheap craft foam. It just has a slight more lift and a little bit more oomph. Okay, so here's our title, this Let's Party. So I think I'm gonna have part of it right there on the photo and I'm gonna pop up the rest of that as well. Let's see. Just a little bit of foamy bits on the back of this. And then we will get these pieces tacked down and just start, um, I'll be able to just start doing little decorative bits with a bunch of those great stickers. I do love those sticker sheets ah, because they give us lots and lots of options. So I did say I wanted that just a little bit higher. Let me get a T-square ruler and just make sure that it's lined up pretty darn nicely. There we go. Pop it on. Easy peasy on that. Now, I liked those little ticket pieces. Guys, look at how cute this would be if this was sticking up like that. So with that in mind, I need to get some dimension under there too. So that works. I'm going to do that. These little, the balloons, <laughs> I want them on. I hope they're going to work. You know what? I'm going to do the balloons right there. It looks like the layout's going up. That's fine. Now we had those ticket pieces like we talked about, and they were coming out on the sides with a little bit of layering. So I was thinking to see if we can do a little tucking with these pieces as well. I have a little tight to the size. I usually don't have things that tight. Okay, let's see. I want cakes on both sides, I think. So if we had something kind of like this, I had, no, the candles won't work, but this camera will. And I love the idea of bringing that down a little bit. So I'm going to have some popped up, some down, and I'm going to keep working that diagonal a little bit and lots of wordy bits down here. So let's see. Oh, I like the Your Special Day. Cute little banner might work. Ooh, the party hats. Look at how bright and cute. So cute. A little party hat definitely is a go. Hmm. The hooray is cute. Love the florals, but that's making me vibe a little bit different than this birthday that we had. And remember, I want to get journaling words down here. You know, a bunch of these. So let's see. I want to build up this cluster just a little bit. Maybe this little hat. I'm not sure. I can always move it. The gifts might be my ticket. So let me see. So I have a Prezi. A nice little gift underneath it. Um, oh, that's like one of those, you know, blow, like the wee, like little horns. Yes, probably not called a wee. Okay, I have that. It's little you're invited is cute. I don't like it sticking out like that. Though. Maybe down underneath there, a little birthday hat and then I got to do the dimension and some wordy bits here I'll be back in a moment once I get some of those things popped up. now all I want to do is use some of these cute stars and do a little decorative bits wherever I can find one going up my little border I think it's so stinking cute these little bits and it adds so much to a layout. It's just so little details. Oh, here's another one. I have a yellow. Oh, I have a lot of yellows. 
What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna gather up the stars and put them on my hand. And here's a blush color, one more yellow. Here's another blush. I think I have them all. So definitely need to get some of these yellows on since we have so many. We have that, got another yellow down here. Let's get a yellow going here. Cute little blush color one here and a blush to finish off right up there. And that, my friends, is such a quick and fun, happy birthday layout. I've got some nice dimension going. I've got my layered photos around the picture of my son. I did pop up some of these bits where it says journaling on the sketch. I used some of the little words. Guys, that's it. I love it. I think it's fun. I think it's bright. Tells the story. Does the thing. I used up a nice amount of stickers, although I still have a good amount left as well. Where did these go? Let's stick them right back on. I'm going to have still shots in a second. I'm also going to have links down below for the Scrap Room website, the blog, and the Facebook group. Okay, that's all for now. I will be back ever so soon with another video. Bye, guys.